I actually have a, a, a question before we get too much into berberine is that um, I remember because I was treated by Dr. Olivia Friedman, who is a TCM doctor. Um, and one of the things she said is, you know, because I, I, I was miserable, as you can imagine. And she's like, you know, a lot of people assume that, you know, this this mental um, hell that you're going through is simply just because of your physical condition but it's our belief in tcm that it's actually part of the condition and it was so uh again vindicating to see that the study went into the parasympathetic nervous system um which would make total sense why i was standing around all day i couldn't relax i didn't want to lie down i just I was stuck there and i was wondering if you could explain that a little bit more yeah i mean it was the, the first time I kind of recognize that is, I don't know if you even, this will be a fun quiz. Do you even know why we get fevers? Like the mechanism for that? Um, I'm sure I could probably try to guess, but it would not be a yeah. good explanation. It's a wild answer. So you get in, so you get in, say you got a skin, infection, like you said, your staph skin infection. You release all these inflammatory markers telling the immune system, come kill this, right? This is an infection. We got to get rid of it. Those markers go into your brain, hit parts of your brain, and your brain says, I got to crack up the temperature. Like, it is an external event getting into your brain. You're not actively thinking, okay, let me go raise my temperature so I can kill this bacteria, right? Like, that's the process that it happens. And examples like that abound in, in immunology, where an inflammatory disorder in and of itself is creating a mental problem, you know, mental angst, you know, mental reaction, almost as if you would, might expect, right? Like if you had an active infection to, to deal with, you would want your brain to be on high alert to kind of say like, look, something's not right here. Um, and so the parasympathetic, everyone knows the, the fight or flight, that's your sympathetic nervous system. Your parasympathetic is your rest and relax. And all those metabolites that I mentioned before, where it goes from tryptophan down to niacin, and as well as being neurotoxic, they, they shut off your parasympathetic nervous system. So your neurologic capacity to relax is taken away. And that, I think, I agree with you that even, and this is true for, by the way, for, for eczema and for a lot of chronic disorders, right? The assumption is having a chronic disorder, particularly one like eczema, where you are going to itch and have sleep disturbance, that in and of itself is creating some psychological burden. And certainly some of that is true, um, but there's now, I think ample evidence that inflammatory disorders will create a biochemical problem in your brain that you cannot, you know, any more than somebody sneaks up and injects you with some, you know, neuroactive substance, like you're not in control of that anymore. That isn't about you need to just toughen up or you need to get better counseling or whatever. That is a potential that this is, I mean, in TSW, the short version is like the skin is poisoning itself. It is giving itself a drug poisoning of niacin and your brain is not going to just sit there and be able to handle that unaffected um and so those things those things cross thank you for answering that question i'm kind of tearing up right now i'm getting pretty emotional because i just you know travel back to convulsing uh in front of my family for several months and if i had heard what you said just now back then it would have made me feel a lot better um and I would hope yeah. it would make the doctors understand more and the family yes. members, right? To be able to say, like, this isn't their coping mechanism. This isn't about their coping skills, right? Like, yeah. if you snuck up and injected somebody with heroin, it's not... The fact they get all loopy is not because they weren't properly bred by their parents, right? Like, it's it's yeah. a biochemical reaction that you don't have full control over. Um, and it is not made better. Um, by a system that is consistently insulting um, and dismissive. 